Hello, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, December. Man, I'm so lost. What is wrong with me? December 13. We are a week and a half away from Christmas and I was brainstorming my next pattern and I thought, why don't I vlog and show you guys what goes behind my creative process and how I make my patterns. Um, I'm working on a new blanket. I really wanted to make a blanket like this one, like the Not Your Abuelita's Blanket, which is a very nice granny squares blanket. So I wanted to make another granny squares. This one has solid colors, but I wanted to make a, bl a blanket that had the white bordered around or any color, not white. And my head is white. So I can use the easy joining method. I wanted this blanket to be a Christmas blanket, to be completely honest with you guys, but obviously I didn't have the time or anything to achieve that, and that's okay. So now I'm just gonna make it, this is an, another neutral kind of blanket. And my color palette, and I'm, I'm really happy, and I'm also happy that it's not 100% like that one, because. You guys, these are just my go-to colors and I cannot get away from mustard, it's just, I can't. I'm gonna try my next project to be maybe not as mustardy, but I can't promise you anything. So anyways, I have been thinking a lot how I'm gonna make these granny squares, this granny, because I don't want it to be simple like that. I wanted the classic granny square look, but there's just so many blankets with the granny square look. And the thing is that whenever you're creating a pattern and you want it to be yours, you need to understand that there's already everything out there. And it's gonna be on you how you make that already make it your own whether that is with the colors that you choose or the construction or whatever. So obviously a lot of granny squares are already created. So I wanted to create kind of like my own granny pattern and that's what I'm doing right now. And in my head, I'm probably creating it, but if you look good enough, probably it's probably already created, but you know, we do what we can in here. Anyways, this is what I have gotten so far. I'm gonna show you guys my color palette and what I have done. So this is my beautiful color palette. So you guys can see the colors a little bit better. It is not 100% accurate on the camera. I'm looking on the, the screen and it's not 100% accurate. So this one is the classic winter white or off white. This one is a very nice and muted green. It looks almost like gray on the screen, but I promise you guys it's green. <laughs> um, you'll see it better on the pictures later. This one is the classic mustard. Same as this one. Like I said, I cannot get away from the mustard. And this one is a light gray, which I think it looks fabulous together. So here's what I've gotten so far. First, I did this little guy, which this blanket, I wanted the metal of the granny square to start like a circle and then transform into square. So I initially did three rounds of double crochets to create the circle, but then I thought my square will be way too big. So I'm taking one round and I'm having only two and then i'm creating the next round with these very nice clusters they're very cute and now i'm in the square part so now i'm trying to get it to square and i try to do it um freehand but i can't i need to draw it so i have my ipad in here and this is how i do it if you're curious and i have this app called procreate and then here I do my design like really 
you know, the rough idea of what I want. And because I'm a very visual person, this helps me a lot to know where the stitches go and I don't have to be playing with with the swatch too much because then it just gets too confusing to me and I don't want to be guessing. So I do it like this and in here I just know exactly where to go. Yeah, now I'm working on the square part. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then after this, whenever it's ready, I bring it to the computer. And I have an app called Crochet Chart. And I make my charts there. So it doesn't look as funky as that one. That's just for me to create all my visuals. And then I bring it to my computer. And there is where I get that nice looking um, diagram. The program doesn't have all the stitches, so sometimes I do have to use my um, my iPad to create the diagram, and I can do it pretty good. Once you make one stitch as perfect as you want, then you can copy and paste it and make it perfect. Okay, so then what I do is, what I did with this blanket is I play with the colors. I just create like, um, square and I start playing with the square colors to know exactly where goes next to what and then that way I don't have to I know exactly how many I have to crochet from each color update on my square I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out this is how this square looks like and I am so happy I honestly don't think this combination is out there yet so fingers crossed um but look how pretty now that i have this done and it looks so flipping cute i'm going to work on my design as of like where i want each color so the layout so yeah, I'm gonna get, do that and then I'll just continue crocheting until I have all of my squares. I'll show you guys um, how it's going this weekend. I also have to do a couple of Christmas presents this weekend. I have to do two um, unicorns from Mama Made Mini. I need to make them this weekend, so I don't think this weekend I will be working on my blanket. But I'm happy now that this part, which is the hard one, is done. So... Yeah, I'll show you guys later how, how it's going. Happy Monday. Everyone in the house is asleep and I have not finished my blanket. But I have it. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe not. It's in the back over there. I made good progress. So I think I'll show you guys the progress tomorrow when there's more light. And I also need to charge my camera. But I'll show you what I have been doing as gift. I have two little unicorns to gift. So I've been working on them. These, they look weird because they don't have anything yet. But this is one, the body. And I have the face for the second one. So I'm debating if I should continue making that now. Or I need to make two sweaters for my kids. Um... We planned this with Natalie and I think I might cast on the sweaters to see how far I can get and then maybe tomorrow continue with the unicorns because I know I can finish those fairly quick. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now and I'll show you the progress tomorrow. Hello everyone, Merry Christmas and almost Happy New Year's. <laughs> It is the Thursday before New Year's and I'm working. The kids are busy right now. I am working a little bit here in my bedroom and I'm working on my blanket. And I wanted to show you guys the progress, not crazy progress, but I did finish three out of four colors for the middle part for the square. And I also wanted to show you the um, plushies that I said that I was going to make as Christmas gifts before I give them away. I should take some pictures because they're cute. 
This is Luna Corn by Mama Made Minis. Super flipping cute. I made this one with these colors. Let me turn around. Whoop. There we go. Like nice like pink and purpley colors. And then the other one is this beautiful, a little bit more like a rainbow color. Super cute. My mother-in-law has been wanting a turtle for a while with purple sh purple shell. So I made Fred the sea turtle, which is a free pattern of mine. Excited to finish the blanket. I'm not near done yet, but I know it's going to work up really fast. That's what I'm doing right now. This is the update and uh, the progress. My blanket is here. I already created my page on my iPad where I'm gonna take all the notes and I have done all the green circles, then all the mustard, except one because I'm keeping one for the video tutorial and then I need to make the gray. So I'm doing the grays right now. Hello, hello everyone. Happy Thursday. I am super excited because I got my order for my yarn to finish my blanket so the yarn has been sold out everywhere for the past i don't know i don't know for how long but i got two skeins of the birch color which is the one that i'm using for the border in the last round of the square and i got the last two skeins at one store and now it was sold out but luckily michael's had it in stock online so i placed an order maybe two days ago and i got it already so i'm so excited for that and now continuing in the process while i was waiting for the yarn i was working on my website which is where i have the free pattern that you guys see so i was working on that and i was also working on the um diagram and i'm gonna show you guys i think i showed you a little bit how it looked like but i'm gonna show you now because um i showed you guys that it looked very funny because i did it like just by hand on my ipad i think and that was just the rough version of it and now let me show you how it's looking like so i got it in here i think that's the name that i'm keeping so i got it like this in a nice um note in my notes on my ipad so this is the layout that i want to do for the blanket um and this was the diagram the funny diagram that i made just like you know this is what I have so far. And now I finally made it really nice for you guys, obviously. And also for me, I keep all of my, my diagrams. And I thought it would be helpful to show you guys how I do it. I told you that I use a program on my computer. And if I need something different or to fix something or to make it, you know, some stitches that I can't find on this app, uh, it's not an app, it's a program. I use um, my iPad. So this is how the diagram looks like now. This is how it looks like. It looks so much better. It's so much nicer. And I do this on the app called, let me find it, uh, that one. It's Crochet Chart. I don't know if you can see there. It's like a little, little sheep and it turned out really really nice so now the next step is um well i was working on my website while i was waiting for the yarn like i said and i need to finish up the blog post once i'm done with the blog post i can go ahead and start the pdf pattern okay so i have the blanket basket in here and oh my gosh, why do we have so many project baskets everywhere? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I use literally all of my grocery baskets for my project baskets. And they're just, I'm so annoyed at myself. But anyways, here is 
my blanket. Um, I also made it in worsted weight and I am flipping obsessed. Look how nice this looks. So cute. So I think I'm also going to make this version uh, for a blanket. And I'm trying to think what else what else I can make with these beautiful squares? Like what other projects? Because I'm pretty sure we can make a ton of things. So I would also like to do like a section on my blog saying like one square, 20 projects, something like that. So I can show you guys how to make a ton of things with only one square. Here are my squares. They're all done. I only have six rounds that needs to be squared up <laughs> it needs to be square and the last the last round of this one i have all the squares in here it's just pure softness when you put your hand in here it's so nice so morning everyone it is 10 a.m i got myself ready look at the makeup oh this never happens no just when i have to record <laughs> um and i have been filming some clips for reels so i have all of my squares ready in here i have all of my squares in here ready to be sewn together and i can't wait to put this blanket together I have my phone in here, hello, with my tripod. This tripod is amazing, like it's just so compact and small. I have my little microphone attached. Um, this is the one I use. It's turned on, but I don't need it right now, so I'm gonna turn it off. And let me see. Yeah, turned off. It is so good and such a good quality and yeah that's what I have been doing so that's one of the steps before I attach the blanket or sew it together all the squares to make it actually a blanket I record clips so I can have like nice transitions and stuff like that for reels and videos to have some content for Instagram TikTok and I also upload my reels um, to YouTube and Pinterest so yeah that's what I have been doing now and I recorded enough clips now that I can finish the blanket. So now I need to use this camera to record some se steps to put the blanket together uh, for the tutorial and then when I'm done I need to record some clips after with the blanket already done. Whoa. This is like the big one. That's why I love that little guy because I used to use this one and it's kind of a little, it's not a pain. It's obviously like a very nice and heavy duty ooh, tripod, but it's really heavy and big. I just, I like this one really very much because the arm can go on the side and I can have it like on top of things to record things from above, which is nice. But again, it's like big and heavy. Okay, blanket has been laid out and I have it exactly how it should go. Now I'm gonna start sewing the squares together. It's gonna be really nice and fast. The only thing that is not annoying, but it's difficult about recording tutorials like this is that you have to film every single step. Like everything that you're doing, you have to film it. You can just sit down and do it quietly unless it's like a selfish project for yourself but when you're doing a tutorial like this you have to record every single step of the way and yeah I'm like I want to sit down and start doing it but I have to put the camera here and the phone here and everything needs to be recorded and I need to record you know like at least I get to record one square and how I do it and then I can continue with the rest without having to record it but yeah, that's the only part that it's like 
I wish I could just do it, you know, and just show you guys. But whenever you choose to do tutorials um, and not just patterns, that's what it takes. <laughs> blanket is done and I have a massive headache probably because I've been trying to do everything so fast to try to finish and just go downstairs to my kids so yeah it's done I got all of my footage everything that I need for my videos reels and stuff like that there she is so beautiful I love it but yeah, I'm just gonna take a couple more clips with this camera and then I'm done working for today. Um, that, that's not true. I need to edit this small reel for Michaels. And then I have to do a lot of computer work and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys how that looks maybe tomorrow when I get to that. Or this weekend. I don't know. I just wanna chill for the rest of the day. <laughs> everyone happy what day is today wednesday happy wednesday it's been a few days since please ignore these things that i have here i have little cuts around um my mouth um it's been a few days since i released the pattern the last time i recorded was probably last week so since i last showed you guys when i was assembling that all the way up until maybe a few days ago I was just working on my computer one thing that a lot of people don't understand when pattern designing is that 80% of the work is done on your computer like you have to do so much computer work it's ridiculous and we don't get to crochet or knit that much as much as people think so this is the winter blossom blankets. It's got these beautiful, beautiful colors. And as you can see, I think this is the wrong side, actually. Yeah, this is the right. No, this is the right side. Um, as you can see, the seam, it's very nice because it's the same color. And it's got a little bit of texture in here, but it's super beautiful. I really like this joining method because it's quick. It's beautiful and I just really like it. That's the blanket. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and the behind the scenes making this blanket. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what do you think about the behind the scenes of making a pattern and what else would you like to watch and see from me behind the scenes. Um, so yeah, if you made it this far, please leave is sun emoji because it's winter and it's cold and it's gloomy and white so we need something to brighten our days so please leave a sun emoji if you made it this far and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>